difficult to predict the outcome of these mighty matches. But one thing's for sure, on Old Firm Day, the city of Glasgow is no place for losers, but it's the place for winners. Rangers are missing two of their first choice defenders, Craig Moore and standing this season has a knee problem and Tony Vidmar is still out. Arthur Newman does return from a thigh injury, although he's not quite 100%. Tugai and Sebastian Rosenthal make way for Claudio Reyna and Billy Dodds, who makes his first start for nearly two months. Yeah, it looks in as if the Rangers are going to start with a 4-4-2, but you really never know with Dick Advocate. I think much will depend on what he does with this man, Claudio Reyna. He could play on the right-hand side of a, a back four. He could push him forward to make up a five in midfield. Or he could even pull him right in here to pick up Lubo Moravchik. We've seen him operate in that role before earlier on this season when he picked up Ayo Berkovic. In front of him, Kanchelskis, a man I feel, has to be given the ball as early and as often as possible. I think we'll try and get him forward onto Stefan Mahi one-on-one. -on -one. The front uh, pairing of Dodds and Wallace gets better every time I see it, but I would say one thing. I think it's a certainty we'll see Neil McCann coming onto this pitch once this game starts to stretch. Celtic are boosted by the return of Paul Lambert. After two months out, he replaces the injured Morton Vighorst. Tommy Johnson gets his first taste of an old firm league game, having missed the match at Celtic Park earlier this month with hamstring trouble. He partners 27-goal Mark Viduka. Alan Stubbs took a knock in training yesterday. Yeah, and the loss of Stubbs is a, a huge blow in because if you look at the Celtic back three, as Charlie said earlier, all good defenders, but none of them possess the range of passing that Alan Stubbs has, and Celtic will miss that. Better news, though, just to further forward, the return of Paul Lambert. For me, simply the most influential player in the Celtic side, although he may find the pace of this game today a bit of a challenge for him. Viduka and Johnson up front. I think Viduka will be delighted that he's a partner today. He's done well up front on his own, but uh, Johnson's mobility will stretch Rangers, it'll move defenders, and Viduka might just make the most of that. Old firm. Two words that send a shiver down the spine. Two clubs with such a long history of such intense rivalry. The first ever league match between Rangers and Celtic took place 109 years ago this very week and there haven't been many dull moments since feelings run high on derby day in glasgow very very high this is a game that has a bit of everything thrown in anything can happen and forget probably will it definitely will In recent weeks we've had the Milan derby, the Madrid derby, the North London derby and they were all pretty good, pretty good warm-up games that is compared to this, the ultimate derby, the one that gets the world talking and watching, debating and disputing. It's an overwhelming experience this, every football fan should try and take in an old firm game, although, admittedly, getting a ticket could be a bit of a problem, but it really is an occasion to savour whoever you favour. The sight of the players waiting in the tunnel, wearing those shirts, sporting those colours, really gets you going. It's time to raise the tempo, to raise the stakes, to raise the roof. Just as he thought it couldn't possibly get any noisier, along came the players of Rangers and Celtic. <laughs> Billy Dodds is hoping to haunt and to talk to Celtic again. He's scored in his last four league games against them. Dodds returning for Rangers. Back for Celtic is Paul Lambert, who will be hoping this trip to Ibrox is not quite as painful as his last one. He ended up in hospital after colliding with George Albert and giving away a penalty. For Sky Digital viewers on Channel 404, the player cam gives you a close-up, first of all, on Barry Ferguson's game. 
It's Willie Young's third old for match. He was in charge when Celtic thrashed Rangers 5-1 last season, sending off Scott Wilson. There's been no red cards yet this season in this famous fixture. If it stays that way today, it'll be the first time in six years that we haven't seen red in these old firm encounters. Rangers and Celtic meet for the second time in a month, but this, Davey, is a fixture you never tire of. No, I've got to say, it still grabs me the same way it did uh, when I walked out the tunnel for the first time. You never become immune to this kind of atmosphere. And what a stage we have in, in front of us this afternoon. A magnificent day here on the south side of Glasgow and a wonderful surface that the groundsman has prepared. No excuses at all for either side. Well, if Hollywood made a movie about the old firm, it would sweep the board at the Oscars, but not even they could make it as good as the real thing. We have the star men in leading roles. We have a top director of football, plus a supporting cast of 50,000 inside Ibrox, with millions on location around the world. It's a Sunday lunchtime screening for this blockbuster, but parental guidance is recommended. Paul Lambert. Celtic fans would be delighted to see him back in action. Such a strong influence for them, as is Marachi. Offside flag will go up against Tommy Johnson. Yeah, it's a good early ball here from Paul Lambert. Tommy Johnson on his way, and I'll tell you what, I think he's on side when the ball is played. The flag goes up very early, but it's an example of the, the kind of runs that Celtic will be wanting from Tommy Johnson. And as I said, he'll stretch defenders, he'll move defenders, and that will suit Mark Viduka fine. Rangers and Celtic complete a century today. It's their 100th meeting since the Scottish Premier was formed in the mid-70s. An occasion that Kenny Dogleash often graced as a player, now in charge. It remains to be seen whether he will take the job permanently though. Stefan Mahi. And he's forced to concede the throw. Yeah, that all came from Barry Ferguson, in running 40 yards there to press Tom Boyd there. Chelskis, who's never completed 90 minutes of an old firm game, he's either been subbed or a sub. Wallace, a bit of a stray one, but here's Carrie Arena. Amoruso. Rangers getting into their stride. Arena. Be a free kick. Yeah, it's going to be Lubon Moravchuk, Ian, who partners Mark Viduka up front today. Tom Johnson, Tommy Johnson playing a bit deeper on the left hand side. And the last time that Moravchuk played up front against Rangers, I think it was a, the 5 1 game last winter. Billy Dodds touches it on towards Van Bronckhorst, but Tom Boyd was alert to the threat. Uh, terrific first touch there, though, Billy Dodds, though, too to play Van Bronckhorst in, in the first place Albert's throw towards Wallace away by Boyd Ferguson it does go through to Kachelskis who has Mahi to contend with and he's got the corner yeah I think that's going to be a, a critical contest in this game and I think Rangers will try and isolate Andre Kachelskis on that side try to get him one on one with Stefan Mahi who's very good going forward but not the best on the back foot time to jostle for position Giovanni Van Bronckhorst with a real swirling corner and Kachowski stopped it across and it's in from Albert what a start for Rangers and they have got it in for Celtic again that was so dangerous these three easy corner kicks Van Bronckhorst is very very deep no one picking up at the back post at all Kanchelskis heads it back across goal and Alberts has the simplest of tasks and that's a shocking defensive goal for Celtic to lose with so many players both side of the ball a shocking goal to lose and you can see the delight in Dick Advocat's face and I'll bet you he can't believe just how easily that goal has come along 
Well, Arbet, of course, missed a penalty against Celtic earlier this month. He's just made amends. And they were queuing up to head that in because if Arbet wasn't going to do it, Billy Dodds was. Arbet has now scored in three of the last five of the encounters in the league. And Celtic rocked and stunned. I'll tell you what, there'll be a bit of an inquest into that goal in. There has to be nobody picking up Andrei Kincelskis at the back post when the corner was thrown in. The man they call the hammer, delivering a hammer blow to Celtic. But here's Ferguson as they go and search for another. Rob Wallace battling with Boyd. required here Stefan Mahi has a problem and as a precaution they're warming up Olivier Tenderly but uh, I'm sure he'll be okay yeah, it looks as if he's, he's struggling Stefan Mahi he certainly won't want to make uh, a change unless they have to not necessarily in the match well, what a poor goal it was that uh, Celtic lost poor goal defensively I mean it's just a deep thrown corner but there's no one on Kanchelskis as he heads it back across and certainly no one picking up either George Alberts or Billy Dodge it was take your pick there between the two of them to see who finished it off Alberts made sure it was him his 13th of the season Stefan Mahi really struggling by the look of it for Celtic So Celtic with problems already in the opening minutes. A goal down and they might be about to lose Mahi. Which will cause the call for a bit of a reorganisation. Yeah, well they could bring Tebley on and move Tom Boyd to that side. And that wouldn't trouble them too much. But I don't think in a game of this importance you really want to use your substitutes as early as this unless you have to. And sadly for Celtic it looks as if Stefan Mahi's involvement in this game is about to come to an end. appear to be a great deal in this challenge well completely off the ball there I, don't, I really don't know what happened there but he's in some distress well, it's a strange one for Stefan Mahi but sadly his old firm game is over he'll be replaced by the Ivory Coast international Olivier Tebeli who was held in a military camp in his homeland recently after a poor showing in the African Nations Cup he got back in time to play against Inverness Cali Fisher in the cup and probably thought the military camp wasn't such a bad idea after all Rangers in control as they usually are against Celtic Boyd will let that one trickle behind them yeah, Olivier Tevel is going to play left fullback now, left uh, side of the back court. Uh, Stefan Mahi is clearly in a lot of pain there. The Duca's header. McNamara to Tommy Johnson. Here's Lambert. Reset. Celtic looking to hit back oh it's not been cleared at all and Viduk is in there and Maratchik's effort was blocked and now there's some concern for Rangers but they appear to have weathered that particular storm goal kick yeah the first bit of encouragement for Celtic in the match and it's all down to the, the footwork of Mark Viduka here he appears to have nowhere to go here Rangers bodies go side and all of a sudden he slips away Sets up the chance there for Lubo Maracic. Another example there, and Kenny Douglas will want more of that from Mark Viduka this afternoon. Rangers 12 points clear of Celtic. They've been sailing away towards the title. And if the gap widens to 15 today, 
there won't even be a dot on Celtic's horizon. They'll be out of sight. Undoubtedly uncatchable. Celtic will need to keep winning and hope that Rangers slip up five times. Football is a funny game, but it's not that much of a hoot. Wallace. Albets trying to return it. Void in the way. Lubomir Moravchik. Sidestepping Albets. Paul Lambert. Petrov was the furthest man forward for Celtic. And he's certainly closing Stefan Klaus down. The German keeper was a lot calmer about that than a lot of the Rangers fans. Yeah, Petrov did well there, putting Klaus under pressure. And he's not the most comfortable in this situation, Stefan Klaus. He wants a lot of time here. And he gets uh, off the hook eventually. But a warning there for him. lifted the League Cup last week Celtic are 1-0 up on Rangers in this season's trophy count but you can't help feeling that there's an equaliser coming soon for Dick Advocat and his team don't rule out a last gas winner at the end of May Celtic looking for a response here though Baduka's done well it's come out to McNamara Way by Amoruso. Albets could be on for a break here, but Mialbi got there first. Albets, though, does try and release Dobbs after all. And Tom Boyd is covering. Ten minutes played and it's been pretty fast and frantic. But then that is the norm in these games. Mielby. Looking for Tebele. Andy Arena settling for the throw. A must win game for Celtic. And how many times have we said that when these old firm contests come around? So often in recent times, when it comes to the crunch, Rangers are the team on the case. Lorenzo Amoruso. Dots was obstructed by Vidal Rizzo. Yeah, it's a good spot there by Willie Young, because as uh, Lorenzo Amoruso was about to play the pass, Dots was clearly impeded. So just trying to knock the ball over the top for Billy Dodds and you see Vida Reset leading with the right arm there but this is exactly the start that Rangers would have wanted in they don't have to be in a hurry now, they can sit in he quite happily hit Celtic uh, on the break the talented Van Bronckhorst takes the free kick and Chelsea's coming in on it as he did on Van Bronckhorst's corner for the goal. Tebele hassling him. And Tebele doing well. Flying from Sheffield United. It was Steve Bruce who brought him there. Reese here. Albert though steps in. He looks for Wallace. Showed too much of it to Mialbi. Billy Dodds being tracked by his Scottish international teammate Boyd and that's bounced off Van Bronckhorst the fifth throw a consistent performer in his time at Rangers Giovanni Van Bronckhorst and trying to become a regular in the Dutch national side although that's easier said than done when you consider the amount of talent they have at their disposal this time Rangers get the throw. Albert's getting ready to take the throw. A 
series of throw-ins down in that corner. It's Celtic's turn again. Dodds and Bronckhorst. Celtic really did struggle to dig that one out. And they might struggle here. Arthur Newman. Newman's delivery. Mialbi with the clearance. Tepeli has figured in all the whole firm games this season now. Yeah, Barry Ferguson does well here against Stylian Petrov. As you would have expected in this game, every challenge, every 50-50 being fiercely contested. standing over this free kick and Broncos with a delivery which has come to be taken by Gould and a huge kick up towards Viduka but Scott Wilson did enough to deal with that the player cam now switches to Paul Lambert you can keep a check on him on Sky Digital channel 404 Tepeli's throw, Mark Maduka. Celtic seeking their first win in seven old firm games since they thrashed Rangers 5-1 last season. But up against it already here. Tepeli, an early sub for the injured Mahi with the throw. Maravchik looking to set it up for McNamara. And Maruso cleared. Newman Dodds Johnson McNamara nearby he's looked for the Duca it's only cleared as far as Paul Lambert Celtic threatening here McNamara on by Tommy Johnson but it dribbles through to the keeper Stefan Foss well, I think he just tried to play Mark Viduka in there with the, the first time left foot pass tries to find an angle there to play Viduka in doesn't uh, quite come off for Tommy Johnson Reina Kanchelskis <laughs> taking on Tebele well the duel between Andrei Kanchelskis and Stefan Mahi did not last long Mahi stretched it off Kanchelskis now up against Tepeli, but it looks like being an equally intriguing tussle between those two. Reset. On by McNamara, rather hurriedly so. That took a bubble as Arthur Newman went to clear. Dick Africa won the treble for Rangers in his first season. Can't do that again, but the double is a distinct possibility. Petrov leaves it for Jackie McNamara. Johnson helps it off. Uncompromising clearance from Amoruso. Looked like a handball from Van Bronckhorst. Yeah, really on right on top of it, no doubt about, about that one. Something I have to say, they're a goal down, but they're getting some great movement from midfield. Both Petrov and uh, Tommy Johnson prepared to go beyond the front two. We're going to have to continue to be prepared to, to get forward if Celtic are going to salvage anything from this game. Tebele's header. Barry Ferguson. Ferguson, how about that for a pass? It's released Kanchelskis. Dodson Wallace are waiting, but it was the sort of centre that was required by Rangers. Now Maratic hurt by Ferguson's challenge. Yeah, both sides of Barry Ferguson there because what a wonderful early ball it was to release Kanchelskis on the right-hand side in the, the first place. And we see him going in heavily there to give away the 
the free kick on Lubo Moravchik but what a wonderful pass inside Olivier Tevely it's exactly the kind of service that Andre Kintelsius will be wanting this afternoon and it was a poor final ball into the box Barry Ferguson on Wednesday night will be up against that rather useful French midfield at Hampden Park live on Sky Sports Moravchik, McNamara away by Reina on by Wallace Arthur Newman a real class act Dodds unable to smuggle it past the giant frame of Mialbi there's another giant frame Mark Viduka it was Newman's tackle it was Ferguson's pass Chelskis on the rampage again slipping it through for Rod Wallace and he's got the corner off Boyd well good defensive run there by Tom Boyd just tracks Rod Wallace all the way and does enough to make the block but that's a danger for Celtic now committing so many bodies forward they're always liable to be hurt on the counter Celtic will be hoping to defend this corner a little better and they defended the one which led to the goal for George Alberts. Rangers hoping for a similar scenario. It's whipped in by Van Bronckhorst, but taken by Jonathan Gould. Now, Rangers could be a bit stretched at the back here. It could have been, except that Moravchik gave it straight to Reyna. Alberts. Just going to veer away from Van Bronckhorst. have only lost three of the last 24 showdowns with Celtic such has been their dominance in this fixture in recent times if Celtic don't try them today it'll be only the fifth season since the Premier began that they have failed to win any of the four Old Firm games and on the previous four occasions Rangers were champions for Duca, he's going to get there couldn't get much on the cross though Helped on by Billy Dodds, but there was nobody further forward than him. Reset. Mialbi. Lambert. Moravchik. Prodded out by Henry Ferguson. 22 years of age some future ahead of him the present's not bad either Wallace up towards Dodds and free kick given against the man who's scored in his last four league games against Celtic for Rangers he's also an initiation and for Dundee United Helped on by Viduka, but again, no problems for Rangers there. More football to come later this afternoon. After the action and the reaction from Ibrox, another derby. We head down to London for West Ham against Wimbledon. Lambert, Viduka. Nice touch to Petrov, and it's found its way to McNamara and Tommy Johnson. Plenty of power on it, but I think the free kick has been given for an earlier offence and not only that there's going to be a yellow card brandished here and maybe yeah. for something said it has to be the sent even that's all it can be for something felt they should have been allowed to to go on there yellow card for Jackie McNamara and it means he can't afford another rash challenge he's going to be walking on ice now It's a free kick given it for the challenge on Scott Wilson on the edge of the box. So 
first yellow card of this Old Firm contest then goes to McNamara. Maruso's kick and Chomsky's chasing but Gould quickly out. Moravchik neatly finding Paduka. Still going. Two men on him. But he does have a few tricks. <laughs> That's remarkable, even for such a, a big fella, that uh, his footwork is as, as nimble as that, it really is. And Celtic will have to get the ball into his feet in the last stop of the pitch if we're to get anything from this game. He's the, the best bet. <laughs> Tremendous technique here from Viduka. Two Rangers players closing him down. He knows exactly what he's doing there. 27 goals this season for Mark Viduka. He turned up at Ibrox in a very summery suit today, taking advantage, he said, of the fact that the sun was shining in Glasgow for a change. Yeah, Celtic just edging it in terms of, of possession, in, but a little uh, consolation for the, the goal they lost. His reset, though, as they look to bite back. Free kick for Wallace's tackle, he thinks he got the ball. Yeah, once again, the Willie Young just a couple of yards away. Um, if he did get any of the ball, it wasn't a great deal. And it's a free kick in a, a decent position for Celtic here. Typical forwards challenge there, a clumsy one. The Ravchik will certainly be on the scene here. Scored twice when Celtic thrashed Rangers 5-1 last season it was only his third game for the club and it made him an instant hero Stefan Kloss though one of the best shot stoppers around what have Celtic got up their sleeve here It's actually set up for Johnson! Ooh, just wide. Yeah, not a bad effort there from Tommy Johnson. I think he actually hits it into the ground here. Being closed down quickly by Giovanni Van Bronckhorst and just dragged the short wide of the target. Stefan Klaus scrambling across towards his left-hand post, but he knew that uh, he had it covered. Reset header. Reset again offside against Mark Paduka. 24 years of age. Lots of speculation about his future. fans who are in full voice after an early goal from George Albert and although Celtic have edged the possession they haven't been able to come up with a response yet Wallace is going to cut that out although he's inadvertently Popped it on to Viduka. McNamara just tripled over his boots, allowing Rayner to stab it away. Tegeli with a firm challenge. And Viduka putting himself about two. You have to put yourself about in these games, mind you. I'll tell you what, we're 50 yards away and I felt that one up here. <laughs> That's a challenge and a half. Been on the receiving end of a few of those, no doubt. That's a fine try, actually, on the turn. Well, Lubo Moravchik is capable from this kind of distance. Stefan Klaus perfectly positioned on that occasion. Celtic last one at Ibrox six years ago. 
Jones and Pullman stay on target in a 2-0 success. Kinchelskis. Ferguson. Newman. Albets. Unable to contend with the twin assault on him by Reset and McNamara. Albert's ordered to go back a few yards. And Boyd was much more awake than Wallace was in waiting for the throw. Oh, Mialvi's clearance has gone straight to Dodds. But he and Wallace not quite on the same wavelength. Newman. Take Africa. Fuming. Just a bit. <laughs> Lives and breathes the game. Africa. Newman. He was crowded out, Van Bronckhorst got a shot in, oh, and it was slithering towards Jonathan Gold at a fair speed. Yeah, there was a fair bit of pace on it, Ian, and they were watering the pitch when we arrived at the ground earlier today, and I think that explains the difficulty that uh, Jonathan Gould has with this. It was down in good time, and it just slips away from the gloves. Good effort there from Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, Jonathan Gould relieved to see it finishing wide. Broncos whips in one of those cracking corners. Gould on the end of it, but here is Kanchelskis. He's going the wrong way at the moment. <laughs> He's going all the way back. Ferguson. Dodds. Reina. Ferguson. Another precise pass through to Kanchelskis and off Tebele for a corner. Yeah, great movement from Rangers up front there, the crossover run there. Kanchelskis goes right, Wallace to the back post. Olivier Tebele did just enough. For the final 15 minutes of the first half, the player cam is on the goal scorer, George Albert. Celtic with another Van Bronckhorst corner to contend with. And it's again gone all the way through. Albets, he's been tripped, has he? No, oh, Willie Young has let everyone get on with it. Ferguson, another fine pass from him, and Amoruso had stayed forward, and he proved. But he's not much of a winger when it comes to putting across. Yeah, I think he should have left it there for Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, who was up on the right hand side as well. He, he was no shortage of support at the back post. And knocked him behind there, and Van Bronckhorst is in perfect position to deliver this. Thomas and Dodds had gone forward. Celtic have got another injury scare now. Tom Boyd has taken a knock on the knee. They've already lost Stefan Mahi, stretch it off. Kenny Dalglish bringing on Olivier Tebele in his place. It's not quite happening for Kenny in this game. Yeah, I think the one thing that will anger Kenny today, Ian, is the manner in which they, they lost the, the goal. And it's always disappointing to lose a goal in this fixture in particular, but when the opposition don't have to work for it, it's particularly short. And it was a a floated corner to the back post, no marking in that position. That has cost Celtic so dearly. This is where Tom Boyd goes down. Still being treated at the moment by Brian Scott. And Celtic will be keen to see him back on his feet. Having already lost a, a defender through injury. Tomorrow, 
but the offside flag will go up against Kadika, who has plenty to say about it. Yeah, that must have been taken in. Flag is certainly up quickly enough. The ball travels a long way. Well, there's nothing in that. Rangers have only lost once all season in the Scottish Premier League. Somewhat surprisingly to Dundee here. Celtic, on the other hand, have already lost seven games. Far, far too many. Ferguson's cushion header is Wallace. Johnson's late lunge. Yeah, and you can understand why Tommy Johnson well late with it, the challenge there. That's by Reyna. He's one of the most mild mannered players you'll ever meet, that's why he's so upset with it. Albets. Dealt with by Mialbi, now reset. Off Rangers have scored 10 goals in their last two games coming into this one and incredibly there were eight different scorers of those 10 goals they really do come from everywhere in this team and Broncos and he's been Caught by Paul Lambert. Yeah, immediate acknowledgement there from Paul Lambert. Perhaps fortunate that uh, he's not showing a yellow card here. Again, he's well late with the challenge there. Van Bronckhorst on his way, breaking into a good forward position. Paul Lambert's fortunate to escape a yellow. Wilson leaving it for Barry Ferguson. He's a good man to leave it to. by Scott Wilson and Namara clambering over Arthur Newman yeah it's all become very scrappy neither side really putting any passing moves together at all at the moment Van Bronckhorst he was looking for Kanchelskis but he didn't get that far Boyd up towards Johnson away by Wilson Dobbs Wallace reset covering and Russo Petrov finding the Duca Amoruso muscles in in the battle of the big men. Yeah, he did very well there, Lorenzo Amoruso. Who had that was caught by Ferguson then. And another challenge on Maratic. They're all falling down at the moment. Reina. Yeah. Well, Young's a busy man here. Barry Ferguson, I think, you know, he showed the yellow. But the challenge on Paul Lambert. That's the first tackle there on Paul Lambert. And it's a, another late one there by Claudio Arena on Lubo Moravchik. Well, Barry Ferguson's got a yellow card. And I think Arthur Newman might have got one there. I'm not quite sure why he might have got one, but I think he did. As a referee, you kind of need eyes in the back of your head in this game. So a double booking for Rangers. Chucky McNamara yellow carded to Celtic earlier. Typical long firm fare really for Willie Young to sort out.
Well, Stylian Petrov is having a long, long run up here. Rangers haven't bothered with the ball. Come from Bob Wallace. Petrov. It was a long way out. That's why they didn't bother with the ball. Here's Rayner. Now Albert on here to Rob Wallace. Oh, and what an interception by Johan Mialbi. Yeah, it just wouldn't fall for Rod Wallace. Just ready to pull the trigger with the, the ball. It just wouldn't fall for him. Great break by Rangers, though. Good diagonal ball by Reina. And another superb first-time ball from Alberts to play Rod Wallace in. It's as physical as ever. Oh, Van Bronckhorst has released Kaczelskis! Kaczelskis surely! 2-0! Rangers are most definitely heading towards the title. There wasn't really much doubt anyway. There's absolutely no doubt now. Well, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst had a big hand in this goal. Celtic just trying to play offside here. They step up here. And he instead decides, instead of picking out Wallace to play Kanchelskis in, threw on the goalkeeper. And that is a fine finish there from Kanchelskis. Has a look up to see where Jonathan Gould is. And strokes it inside the right-hand post. But uh, tremendous aggression there by Giovanni Van Bronckhorst to create the chance in the first place. And that's a superb finish from the Ukrainian. Celtic have had no reward and Rangers have been clinical when they've had to be Andrei Kanchelskis has played in Manchester derbies, Merseyside derbies and big games in Italy he relishes occasions like this and Rangers are really relishing it at the moment and this man is involved in so much Van Bronckhorst is away again eventually brushed out of the way Paul Lambert Moravchik Celtic need to make a fight of it and soon and they won't do it like that a woeful effort from Luba Moravchik yeah that one he'll enjoy seeing again Ian did well to make the room for the shot in the first place just drags it onto his left side and it doesn't really normally matter which side it falls to with this lad he'll normally get the shot on target and that just about sums up this first half for Celtic so far and what a good finish this man came up with a few moments ago and a lot of pressure on you when you're through the goalkeeper in this game and he keeps his head well enough to stroke it away and that's a goal that has put Rangers well and truly in the driving seat now saying earlier that Kachelskis has either been subbed or been a sub in these old firm games he certainly made his mark in this one and now I'll bet Kachelskis is the one arriving in the box but also there of course is Billy Dodds determined to go for goal himself Moravchik now snaps it through towards Viduka but Arthur Newman cuts across magnificently yeah, tremendous defending there by Arthur Newman Providing the insurance there for the, the centre back. You see him is on his way here. He read the script early. And Viduk is no slouch himself, but Newman was still quick enough to, to get there. Tebeli hoisting it up towards Tommy Johnson, but that's going to go through to Stefan Kloss. And the scenes that I've watched at the moment are almost reminiscent of the championship celebrations here last season. Remember they played Hearts, and although the game was goalless, they all came along for a party, having pinched the title the week before at Celtic Park. Unless Celtic can come up with something soon, Rangers 
are going to go 15 points clear of Kenny Dalglish's team. I think he'll have to make a change even for changes sake and you're 2 down. The game at the moment is beyond Celtic, he's going to have to make changes. He has Mark Burchill he could bring on. Ayo Berkovic as well. And I think arguably these two will be uppermost in Kenny's thoughts at half time. Dodds flick that on. Away by me, I'll be. Mistake by Wilson. Tommy Johnson chasing, but Stefan Cross sprung off his line. He was an absolute inspiration cross at Selby Park earlier in the month. On by Dodds. Wallace looking to get there first, but Boyd does at the expense of a throw. Newman, Wallace, Alberts, incisive and decisive passing here. Kanchelskis' his cross is going to come to Van Bronckhorst and Wallace in there and somehow it was blocked by Boyd I think for a corner. Yeah, Johan Melby did very well though as Van Bronckhorst knocks it back across goal. Mjalby makes a crucial challenge here. Deep ball by Kanchelskis, back across by Van Bronckhorst. And Mjalby was prepared to throw his head in there to deny Alberts. Great defending there from Johan Mjalby. Rangers 5 nil up on corners, 2 nil up on goals. Kanchelskis whipped it in, Russo rising. It's a throw for Rangers in first half injury time. He doesn't look very happy, but he won't be until the professional job is completed. Until the full-time whistle goes. And even then he won't be talking too much of titles, despite the enormous gap between these two. Heavily up towards Tommy Johnson. Now Viduka. Celtic desperately need to give themselves a little hope before half time. But Rangers are not in the mood to give anything away, although hang on because Moravchik looking to make progress. Petrov. And Amoruso wasn't hanging around. Reset tangling with Dodds. And Billy Dodds doing some defensive duty, although it's come to McNamara. And that was really a poor cross. Kachelskis. Alberts. He absolutely adores these old firm games. George Alberts. And it was he who put Rangers on their way here with an early goal. Celtic all over the place in the corner and nowhere near the place when Andrei Kanchelskis strode through. The final old firm showdown of the season. Kanchelskis knocked it back. Albets knocked it in. And if he hadn't done so, Dodds would have done so. Kanchelskis kept his composure to double Rangers' advantage. Once again, they are in control of an old firm game and sensing more silverware. Half time, Rangers 2, Celtic 0. It's seven years since Rangers lost a league match here at Ibrox in which they scored first. Celtic turned it round then, although it was only 1 0. Now, Dick Applegan's men are 2 0 up. Mark Paduka is the subject of the player camp for the first 15 minutes of the second half and the Celtic fans will be hoping that they will see the ball next to him a lot in those 15 minutes Rangers have been leading in 22 games at half time this season and they went on to win 20 of them through the other two so the size of the task facing Celtic is considerable Rangers unbeaten in 15 games, just one defeat in their last 32 league matches.
they are the major power in Scottish football and Celtic just cannot keep up at the moment Jonathan Gould making his 11th appearance in an old firm game only one win Wallace is looking to latch onto this, but Tom Boyd well aware. Although it wasn't the most effective of clearances. Straight up in the air. Albert. Wallace. Went behind Albert. Here's McNamara. Stefan Mahi, by the way, who was stretched off early on. Who will be going to hospital after the game. He has a swollen ankle. Wallace helped that off. And his yeah, boy. He's, he's done well, Rod Wallace, today once again. I don't think he's, he's at his happiest when he's been asked to do long running and get in behind defenders. And he's been asked to do that shift at the moment because Billy Dodds is happier coming off and taking it into feet. And Wallace really has put in another fine shift for Dick Advocate this afternoon. The man who's won titles north and south of the border. Paduka spinning away from Amoruso now Lubo Maratic he'll get the throw he takes it quickly and Paduka's in there and I think it's going to be a yellow card for diving it is yeah Willie Young immediately goes for the yellow card there and he didn't need much encouragement to go down, Mark Viduka. Well, there's not a great deal in it there, the contact between Viduka and Scott Wilson. I don't think he can have too many complaints. Celtic, of course, desperate to get back into the game. So Mark Viduka gets a yellow card. Duco with 30 goals in 32 league games for Celtic, an awesome record. He's scored against everyone in Scotland. Reset. The breaks for Amoruso. And now for Claudio Reyna. Barry Ferguson's making a magnificent run. There he is, Ferguson. Well, it almost deserves a goal. Uh, it's a fabulous run from Barry Ferguson. Delightfully picked out as well there, but the ball over the top from Reyna. Good first touch. And he just can't get it on target. A wonderfully weighted pass here from Reyna. Ferguson does everything right, but apply the finish. Van Bronckhorst. The RB going to retrieve. Wallace has kept it in. Wallace bearing down on goal. Billy Dodds, second chance. Billy Dodds. Oh, it's been ruled out, I think. It's been ruled out and it's not going to count. Well, just as well for Johan Mialbe, who gets ever so slack out on the touchline, losing it in the, in the first place here. He's in control of this situation. All of a sudden, he lets Wallace in. He's on his way. Billy Dodds makes a good run front post. I wonder if it's offside but what Rod Wallace does well here this just sums up the difference between the, the two sides here the attitude of Wallace he's not prepared to give it up and he puts a good ball into the, the front post and I can only assume it's either offside against Dodds for the first ball when they're Kinchelskis at the goal still 2-0 to Rangers but they will be back for more rest assured Wallace, this is Newman, Wallace trying to get in again, and he was just beaten to it by Paul Lambert. The Rangers seemingly in the mood for more goals. Really, I'm just checking that 
Newman is OK. He missed the Motherwell match last week with a thigh strain. And it's not quite 100%, but with Vidmar and Moore both out, they didn't want to lose him as well. Dodds. Newman. Albert. Newman. Here's Ferguson, but Mialvi scoops it away. Celtic are under a bit of pressure at the start of the second half. Albert's throw. Clattered clear by Mialvi. McNamara. Paducah. Duca and Reese have combining to great effect for Celtic here. And Tommy Johnson is near post, but he prods it wide. That's yeah, good defending by Reyna. Tracks him all the way across here, Claudia Reyna. Decent front post ball from Reset. Look at Claudia Reyna, well in control of the situation there. He's going to lean after noon for Tommy Johnson and Mark Duca. have now scored 99 goals in all competitions this season only 19 of them though scored by Scott McNamara read by Amoruso who was rather blatantly obstructed by Reset and they're not hanging around in taking the free kick I'll bet looking for Dodds Gould Smothers Ratchet will get the free kick, nudged by Alberts. Yeah, Lubom Ratchet with a cool stretch here. Uh, no sign at the moment, Dean, of Celtic getting themselves back into this game. If anything, Rangers look like increasing this lead. Tom Boyd's free kick. Johnson chasing and Scott Wilson comes across to clear it's only his second Old Firm League game and it's going a little better than his first one did he'd already been sent off and a 5-1 defeat at Celtic last season Lambert Mialbi it's taken over by Mark Viduka Johnson unable to get near that more frustration for Celtic Celtic have scored in every away league game this season but not yet in this one Alberts' throw, met by Mialbi, Fidar Reset, Paul Lambert, he's got away from Alberts, this is more like it for Celtic, Lambert put it straight onto the chest of Amoruso, now Van Bronckhorst, perfect passing for Rangers, and now Kanchelskis, released by Barry Ferguson, of course, Dodds in there, the RB met it, but it comes to Van Bronckhorst, well stopped by Gould, and well stopped again by Gould, as Billy Dodds belted it back towards him. Yeah, Celtic being stretched right across the back now, put on the break once again by Kinchelsea down the right hand side, and the players queuing up for the back post. The double save by Jonathan Gould, now he does well here, he's in touch with Dodds as the ball comes in, and then it's up to Jonathan Gould to do his bit. Well, Lorenzo Amoruso is on an amazing run here. <laughs> it's delighted the majority inside our box. Claudio Reyna. He sets it up for Kanchelskis. Comes back to the scorer of Rangers' second goal, Kanchelskis. Now Barry Ferguson, who once again has been a major influence. 
Rangers aren't half enjoying themselves. Although Albert has got a little casual and will probably concede a free kick here. Yeah, Celtic at the moment look completely demoralised. The heads are down. And that's the one thing the supporters will not forgive you for in this game, Ian. At the moment, Celtic look as if they'd be quite happy to hear the full time whistle and get on that team bussing away. Risa. Again, the situation is red by Amoruso, and he's got the free kick. He's never been on the losing side in an old firm game, Lorenzo Amoruso. This is his tenth. Yeah, I think he's going to try and enjoy himself now, Rangers. 2 0 up. And there's his fancy trying to get himself in the, the score sheet as well. Chelskis, who cuts inside Tebele and who sends it through to Barry Ferguson and Wallace couldn't get any contact on it and Gould has it oh, it's a fabulous switch there by George Alves in the first place good ball in for Barry Ferguson who once again is prepared to get himself into the box and Celtic have Jonathan Gould to thank again but Celtic are now all over the place and Amoruso is a terrorist strength for Rangers at the moment he's popping up everywhere to defy Celtic Reina offside that'll be against Billy Dalton a bit of a respite for Celtic who get on with it quickly McNamara and Maruso again won his duel with the Duca doesn't get much better than this for Rangers fans Ferguson looking to release Albert who fends off Mialbi it's come to Kanchelskis Dot is on the far side and the free kick given against Kanchelskis yeah just before that Ian as the ball was played through to, to George Albert here we see Andre Kanchelskis trying to win a free kick and I think he makes the most of that but prior to that we had Johan Mialbi 30 yards behind the Celtic back three on his own playing everyone on side, no communication at all and Bronkhorst, away by Boyd Ferguson couldn't quite keep it in took it after Katz managed PSV Eindhoven and had a successful time there he was with Harlem before that Dutch national coach as well he really has transformed Rangers and he will want to make his mark on Europe next season they nearly did this season they were very unlucky Wallace is proving to be a bit of a pest here's Mialbi all oh, this time Amoruso has been fouled by Tommy Johnson uh, Tommy Johnson just leans into Amoruso here he tries to, to ease him he was almost on his way, but really young again. He's well up with the plate. Albert is heading towards Kanchelskis, but neatly steered back by Tebeli to Gould. Rangers, of course, also in the semi-finals of the Tenant Scottish Cup, where they will meet Air United of the First Division. Raider. Dodds. Kanchelskis, I don't think he's quite going to make it. Well, this is the one that we understand was ruled out for, for offside here. You see Billy Dodds trying to get himself to the front post. And as the ball is played, well, he looks level to me. And fortunately enough for Celtic, the flag went up here on the near side. Otherwise, it would have been 3 0. with 17 wins in 21 games of Lightbox this season and Scott Wilson one number 19 has tripped the other Stylian Petrov yeah rush challenge there from, from Scott Wilson but overall he'll be well pleased with the, his afternoon's work so far Moravchik whipped it in 
and I'm not sure whether Tommy Johnson even got a glance on that but whether he did or not mattered little come off the hour come off the new man for the player cam for the next 15 minutes you can closely check out Rod Wallace on Sky Digital Channel 404 and you'll probably see the ball pretty close to him a few times there's the first time as he flicked that one on but here's Fidar Reset. and Bronco's finding his fellow countryman Newman Dodds straight to Boyd those two will be teaming up with Scotland this week as they prepare to take on the world champions France on Sky Sports of course Wallace Ferguson is making a lot of runs through the middle now Oh, Tebbley might have showed too much of that to Dodds. He hadn't done so to give him his due. And Petrov has been caught by Van Bronckhorst. Yeah, again, I think Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is, is fortunate to escape without a yellow card here. Badly missed time challenge. And Petrov was breaking into a good position had he not been brought down. The Albi up towards Viduka. And he's wrestled to the ground by Amoruso, and that's a free kick to Celtic, and a chance for them here to maybe hit back. Yeah, Mark Viduka backing in here, and it's been a real physical contest this afternoon. Amoruso not prepared to give any ground at all. And it gives Celtic a free kick in a, a decent position, and if they are to get back into this game, they need a goal quickly. Baravchik standing over the free kick, of course. Celtic so desperately need to conjure something up from this. Moravchik whips it in and Scott Wilson taking no chances with Miyabi lurking. He nodded it behind. Yeah, he did the right thing here, Scott Wilson. He knows that Stefan Kloss isn't coming. He doesn't know who's blindside on him. And then he takes a safe option. Celtic's first corner. Moravchik whips it in. It's cleared by Alberts. Went over the head of Dodds and McNamara. Here's Petrov. Tackled by Reyna. And the throw not taken in the right place. And Rangers are going to bring on Neil McCann, who grew up a Celtic fan, but who scored two goals against the and Celtic Park last season to finish the title. Billy Dodds makes way to the arrival of McCann. Yeah, he's the last man that Celtic will want to see at this stage in the game starting to stretch. Celtic committing players forward. And if you want to play in a counter-attack, Neil McCann's your man. And just going back to Dodds, he did manage to put the ball in the net for the fifth league match running against... Now the fourth league match running rather against Celtic, but it didn't count. Oh, a missed kick here! Cross in trouble, and Scott Wilson rather relieved. Yeah, he put his hand up immediately to acknowledge the, the mistake there. Complete slice of this here, it's over Cross's head, but again, Rayner reacts quickly. McNamara, back to Moravchik. Here's Tebbley. He turns, booted clear by Amoruso. Wallace so determined he's got the better of Boyd and he's found Neil McCann who could make quite an impact having just come on he lifts it over well he scored from this position earlier on in the season there and you can see exactly what he has in his mind great tenacity out from the, the near side here by Rod Wallace the ball into McCann it's Paul Lambert who's last defender for Celtic and he's only got one thing in his mind here the dink over Jonathan Gould who had come well outside his six yard box Dick Advocat not happy Africa unable to claim an inspired substitution. Johnson, in the end, he's crowded out, but it does come to Paul Lambert. Rangers, though, untroubled as Alberts looks to release Kanchelskis, but here is Tebbley, now Moravchik. Petrov. Locked 
by Van Bronckhorst, but Mialvi to try again for Celtic. Now McNamara. The closest man to McNamara, who gets the throw in his favour. Johnson. Here's Viduka. And Newman whips it off his toes. It's a corner. It is time for Celtic to launch a salvage operation Ratchik sent it in but it was quickly sent out by Alberts Jackie McNamara delivers and Mialbi rises nobody was quite sure where it bounced but Amoruso soon found out Alberts and Chelskis wants it on the right but it's going first of all to the left Neil McCann McCann's cross, Wallace! Oh, what an opportunity to make it 3-0. That's a glorious chance. Delightful cross from Neil McCann, who looks up and picks him out perfectly. Claims for offside, and he may well have been as well. Tom Boyd's hand goes up immediately. He thinks Rod Wallace is offside. The flag stays down. And that was another superb chance for Rangers. Ferguson. Offside that time. Dick Apricat's ninth Old Firm game, We've only, he's only lost one of them, but boy did he lose it, 5-1 Celtic last season, but he always points to that game as a game that taught him a lot. Newman. Van Bronckhorst and no flag against Kamchelskis. Ferguson Ferguson Reina Kanchelskis Celtic just standing off here not prepared to press the ball at all Rarely see this from a Celtic side that are losing. Ferguson away towards McCann. Mark Birchall could be on soon for Celtic. McCann is on for Rangers. And Reset just got a little nick on that. Here's McNamara. Viduka. Away by Scott Wilson. Kanchelskis. Wallace hadn't made the run. Yeah, it might just be. Talon is creeping into Rod Wallace. He's put himself about this afternoon. It's a good ball from Kanchelskis, but uh, he just didn't fancy the chase there. already strengthening their squad for next season as well Alan Johnston will join from Sunderland currently on loan at Bolton at the moment Paul Ritchie who's also at Bolton after leaving Hearts also likely to become a Rangers player Dutch defender Fernando Rickson another target Ferguson is wowing them at the moment and Kanchelski is skipped away from Boyd but settles for the throw Maruso Wilson Chelsea is a little late in going to that and Tivoli able to knock it back to Gould
point. Up towards Viduka. Moravchik. Not given a moment's peace by Van Bronckhorst. Celtic are going to bring off Paul Lambert, who was back for the first time in two months today since, in fact, the Christmas Old Firm derby. He makes way for the arrival of 19-year-old Mark Birchall, named in the Scotland squad to face France this week, despite his lack of first-team shouts here. Can he give Celtic hope? Well, it gives him something different. He has this uh, electric pace, of course, but it's, it's asking a lot of a lad of, of his age to come on and, and turn a game like this. Paul Lambert, I think, just ran out of legs there. Certainly worth the gamble of playing him today, but uh, clearly still well short of match fitness. Moravchik. Nobody really in support. The Duca does help out. Tommy Johnson. Albert seems to want a long time to clear. We don't get a long time to do much in all firm games. Petrov, Moravchik. Up towards, oh, Amoruso actually inadvertently set up reset and Stefan Klaus forced to concede the corner. Well, he was almost in there, Vida reset. Delightful ball in behind there, Amoruso, full stretch, almost broke for reset there. Once again, no good goalkeeping by Stefan Klaus. He was quickly off his line to deal with that. Moravchik's corner met by Amoruso dispatched by Alberts there's more derby action to come later as we switch from Glasgow to the east end of London it's West Ham against Wimbledon from 3.30 I'm here on Sky Sports 1 and of course on Sky Sports Extra Moravchik Oh, and Ross with a rather spectacular punch away from Tommy Johnson's centre. From Broncos to Kanchelskis. Quality oozing through the Rangers' ranks, although having said that, Tommy Johnson with a wonderful chance. And they've got far too casual Rangers. Yeah, just signs of slackness now starting to, to creep into Rangers' game. Too many passes along the back there, and it was a half chance for Tommy Johnson, tight angle up. Here goes Neil McCann, oh he put it behind Rob Wallace and Tebbley. was on hand. Oh, reset. Way by Amaruso. Wilson. Ferguson. Chelskis takes it in his stride and Jonathan Gould is there at his near post. Moravchik. Paduka with a chance here but look who's there again. And Maruso winning the battle with the big Aussie. Arthur Newman, McCann, Alves, McCann again, rather wasted, heading towards the final quarter of an hour, Celtic in need of inspiration. Johnson to Petrov, to the Duca. Tried to barge his way through, and in the end it trickled through. Yeah, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst did well though to get back and give Rain a bit of protection there as the Duca took up possession. And then just quite happily sat in now, too wide, Neil McCann left, and Chelsea's wide right, Rod Wallace through the middle on his own. Albert powering towards goal, I think he's going to hit one, he does, but it hit not, Mialbi. Neil McCann, offside, the 
referee will let Celtic get on with it, despite the raising of the flag. Jackie McNamara, Recef arriving down that side, but it's away by Newman. It's going to be picked up though by McNamara. McNamara's cross. And between them, Reina and Amorusa conspire to frustrate Celtic again. And now Rangers have got a free kick. Um, uh, it's going to be another yellow card shown here, I think. Yeah, I think Stylian Petrov is going to get a yellow card for throwing the ball away. Yeah. Fifth yellow card of this Old Firm game. Yeah, the free kick was given against Tom Boyd and Petrov certainly didn't agree with Willie Young. For the final 15 minutes, the player cam is on. Celtic's sub, Mark Birchall. Amoruso's free kick, Kanchelski is going down the middle, but the ball was going down the middle a little bit further than he was. Claudio Reyna, even though the ball had spun away from him, was still first to it. Says something about Celtic today. McCann. Albert! He's in here! Oh, he's lifted it over. Once again, he did everything right but apply the finish. Good ball inside by Neil McCann. Albert's first touch was good enough to take him in behind Tom Boyd. And he just couldn't judge the lob over Jonathan Gould properly. to the Duca but Maruso in the way as he often has been in this game Petrov Bertrand let it go and Cross racing out to make sure that the Duca didn't get much of a shout oh Alves has given it away rather sloppily to Maracic now McNamara and Viduka oh good effort well, it was a good effort, just couldn't keep it down, but he does well against Scott Wilson here. He's backing in and he gets half a yard for himself here. And he just can't keep the volley down. But it's good striking play this by Mark Viduka. The body strength enough to hold Wilson off. He shot just over the target though. McCann. Van Bronckhorst. That's heading towards Andre Kanchelskis. Kanchelskis. And he's got the corner. Yeah, it's good play here by Andre Kanchelskis. And Rangers will quite happily get him on the ball as often as possible now. Just play it into the corners. You know the clock is ticking down now. Van Bronckhorst ready to deliver again from the corner. Who will be on the end of this? Van Bronckhorst going for the far stick, but the sun that might have been a problem there for Bill McCann. The sun is certainly shining. As far as Dick Appercat is concerned, his Rangers team leading by two goals to nil. Heading 15 points clear at the top of the Scottish Premier League. Their 49th title is in sight, their 99th major honour. And of course, with the Tenant Scottish Cup still a possibility, they could complete a century of trophies this season. Although I'm sure Air United, the Burnian or Aberdeen, will have something to say about that. Celtic has had not much to say about this. Viduka. 
What a battle with Amoruso. And it's a goal kick. Yeah, Amoruso has played them well, Ian. It looked early in this match as if uh, Mark Viduka might get a result against the Italian defender, but he really has got to grips with the, the biggest feeling this afternoon, Amoruso. Very, very slack in the last old firm game, the Rangers captain, but he's got his act together this afternoon. Amoruso applauding the fans who had been applauding him. We shall not be moved, the cry from the home fans, and they might just be right. Although, a goal for Celtic now would set up one heck of a finale, and they have a throw. Vidar Rousseff will take it. Got that one in, and it's come through to Tommy Johnson. Maravchik, straight through to Pos. A good cross across the face of the goal there. One of the rare times in the match the Rangers have been exposed at the back. Pos is positioning though perfect to the body behind the, the long range effort. towards Viduka Scott Wilson to Barry Ferguson to Claudio Reyna Hazard one back third by Van Bronckhorst and here's Ferguson well, he might have got the free kick there but he didn't Johnson to Moravchik and Tommy Johnson oh dear yeah he knows it's a decent chance to get a shot on target here a good exchange down the left hand side good ball inside by Moravchik and he should have done better Nidal despondent Celtic with much to sort out not in the least who's going to be the manager well exactly and it has to be sorted out sooner rather than later and it can't be allowed to drift any longer Johnson helped it on, and now Viduka looks to have got the better of Amoruso, but it's scrambled behind by Cross for a corner. Yeah, it's a good save, Mark Viduka I think should have got the shot away earlier though. He's half a yard up here on Lorenzo Amoruso, and it just won't fall for him properly. Bradchick looking for Mialbi. Here's Mark Birchall. Cross coming, and he says, that's mine. Scott Wilson. And Chelskis. Two with Ferguson appears like it won't come off. Moravchik. Albert, who's meant to be substituted, is Newman. Now Van Bronckhorst. Oh, Van Bronckhorst has put Neil McCann in. Is this going to finish it? Albert! It's a romp for Rangers. It's a second for Albert. Nothing's going to stop them now. Yeah, Celtic caught stepping up there. The ball in behind. Well, I'd like to see it again. But McCann has great feet here to go around Jonathan Gould. The pullback was perfect for Albert. And George Alberts, who's been prepared to get himself forward for most of the second half, finally gets a reward there. And that's a decent finish there. But Neil McCann, great skill here to get to the byline before pulling it back. Well, that's going to be his last contribution, because having scored, he's going to be taken off. And he, they were going to take him off just before. Good job it didn't go out of play. 
Tugai, the Turk, comes on for George Albert, who once again rose to the occasion. And what a magnificent occasion the old firm game is. Tugai gets his first taste of these encounters. Albert, the two goal hero. Petrov up towards Birchall. But it really is a lost course for Celtic now. And in truth, it always looked like it would be. Rod Wallace. but there's a bit of a party going on at Ibrox at the moment that's why the scoreboard says it all yeah there's always that little bit of doubt Ian but uh, this result today has settled the issue once and for all Rangers can send the, the trophy to the engravers tonight <laughs> two guys Getting involved, it's his old firm initiation. His two guy. Oh, he's put Kanchelskis away. Kanchelskis. Wallace. He can't score. Van Bronckhorst can't score. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Simply the best. Often echoes around Ibrox. Now. You know why? Uh, Celtic in absolute tatters at the back now. Once again, it was the ball inside Tevely to release Kanchelskis that caused the problem. Too quick here for Tevely. Does well to pick out Wallace, and when the shot's blocked, it breaks perfectly for Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. And he more or less passes that into the net. Inside of the left foot, just bending it inside the left-hand post. Fine finish there by Van Bronckhorst. And it just puts the icing on the cake for Rangers in an afternoon that they've dominated from start to finish. It's been a bit of an embarrassment for Celtic. Rangers are going for another one here. Neil McCann, that's got to be an obstruction by the RB. The Rangers have got a man down. Ferguson will need a little bit of treatment. Yeah, well, certainly Craig Brown will be anxious at this uh, stage in the match. Ian has the Scotland game due on Wednesday night. And he want to make sure that uh, he has as many of these old firm players uh, available to him as possible. Let's hope he's OK, because he has missed a few Scotland dates, hasn't he, through injury. It's a time to celebrate. Rangers heading 15 points clear of Celtic. The champions, the treble winners, have more silverware in their sights. But of course, there's the other side of the story too. And this has been... A sad story for Celtic and their suffering supporters. I don't think it's just losing it, I think it's the manner in which Celtic uh, have lost this game that will be the real uh, difficult part of it for the Celtic fans to get their head round. Arthur Newman. Here's Van Bronckhorst. I do believe Rangers would quite like a fifth. That's going to be a free kick for a trip on Van Bronckhorst by McNamara, who has to tread a little carefully, actually, because he's one of the men who have been booked. I don't think Willie Young would inflict more misery on Celtic by reducing him to ten men at this stage. Two guy. McCann. Van Bronckhorst. Chip 
to Burchill. It's all over. Lorenzo Amoruso led Rangers to a resounding victory in the battle for power, in the battle for greatness in Glasgow and for supremacy in Scotland. Rangers rule again. And this was a thoroughly convincing victory. Rangers put one over Celtic again. And did they put one over them? 4-0.